Council General, uh, thank you for your very gracious, gracious uh, remarks. I, I know it's been about a year since you have been here, and it's an honor uh, to have you in the, uh, in the Houston region. I certainly value the, the relationship that we have established. I look forward to building on that relationship. And then thank you for, for, for your remarks. Um, and this is a beautiful day. I just could not have picked a better day uh, to be outside. So, so thank you so very, very much. Uh, to my good friend, County Judge K.P. George. Uh, let, let, me, let me just uh, say uh, to him and to all of you, you know how proud I am of uh, uh, the judge leadership. He has been just a stellar, strong uh, leader, uh, not just for Fort Bend, for, for our region as a whole. And, uh, you know, this, he is the first Indian descent uh, county judge, um, and he has made us all proud. So I want you to know that I have valued the relationship that we have established uh, working together uh, between, uh, and there are some of Houston and Fort Bend, uh, but the leadership of County Judge uh, K.P. Judge has been stellar. So thank you for what you continue to do in representing and representing all of us. Uh, and let me just say good evening to everyone. Happy Republic Day, uh, the 72nd. Uh, so happy Republic Day. And it's just a joy to be with each and every one of you. Many of you I've come to know very well. Uh, some of you uh, traveled uh, with me when we went to India uh, not too long ago. And so it's just an honor to be, uh, be with you all uh, today. Uh, the last 10 months have just been unprecedented. Simply been unprecedented. Uh, and not just in the Houston, Harris County, Fort Bend region, uh, and not just in this country, but across the globe. Uh, but nonetheless, we are still standing and we and we are here and it's just an honor of mine to be here on this uh, Republic Day as we celebrate uh, the independence of India, the signing of the Constitution in 1950 and a reminder as someone said that freedom is not free and freedom is not uh, often given many times it has to be taken and for India to be the largest democracy on the face of the earth and the relationship between India and the United States. Uh, it's just a relationship that needs to be respected and admired across, across the globe. I cannot tell you uh, how much pride I had uh, on the Hari Modi event uh, when over 50,000 people uh, were at the uh, NRG Stadium. Uh, it was and viewed by millions all around the globe. Uh, that was a very, very proud moment. And I, and I too want to thank all of those who participated in helping, helping to make that happen. I was equally proud when a large delegation when we traveled to, to India. It was my first time. Uh, it will not be my last time. And let me tell you one of the greatest joys I get when I look at my phone and I get a text message from a Swami G out of New Delhi. Uh, even even uh, to this day. So uh, uh, the relationships that we were able to establish there, the opportunity to sit down uh, and visit with the Vice President of India, very special moments. Uh, in fact, uh, when we were there, uh, uh, we were told, and I was told, a mayor is not going to be not going to have very much time. Now, one, we didn't know we were going to get a chance to meet with the Vice President. That's number one. It was not on the itinerary. Secondly, we were told it may not be um, very much time with him, uh, but he was very, very gracious with his, with his time. And the business relationships that were established uh, will, will long uh, benefit uh, both, both India and the city of Houston. And because of those relationships, India is one of our top trading partners, uh, over $10 billion annually. And just in 2019, uh, that increased by more than 40 percent. So uh, the relationship is strong. Council General, I know that you service eight states, and I noticed that you mentioned uh, Dallas and Austin. <laughs> 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 
And I know you're the Consul General in eight states and Dallas. Dallas. But all pale in comparison to the city of Houston. That's all right. <laughs> So let me, let me say as the mayor of this city, I am very proud of the relationship we established. I look forward to building on that relationship. I look forward to doing everything on our part, to increasing the, uh, not only the business ties, but the cultural ties as well. And there is so much the two of us can offer to one another. And, when I, and I don't say Houston selfishly, because I recognize that Houston and Fort Bend connection, Harris County, Fort Bend, are, are intertwined. Uh, what benefits one, benefits the other. And so uh, I would say that there is no region anywhere in the country uh, that will lift up and enhance the relationship of both India and Texas uh, than the relationships that can be established in this region. So uh, allow me to be selfish. You know, those other cities, they can speak for themselves. But allow me, but allow me to be very, very selfish. And the reason being, when I look at County Judge KP, George, I'm very proud. When I look at my own alma mater, University of Houston, Renee Couture, I am very, very proud. Um, when I look at 150,000 Indians, that have made this region their home. And the fact that this is the fourth largest city in the United States, soon to be the third, the most diverse city in the United States. And the contributions that we make, not only to this region, but nationally as well as globally. I know this is fertile field for any, for any relationship. So let me, let me again, let me, let me thank you. Let me thank you uh, for inviting me. Let me thank all of you uh, for allowing me to be, to be your mayor. I want you to know it has been the greatest privilege of my life. Um, six years in, and it has moved so very, very qu uh, quickly. Someone said, Mayor, there have been a lot of things that have happened during your term. And that is true. But I will tell you, it's the very fact that whether you talk about the tax day floods, Harvey, uh, tropical storm Imelda, this pandemic, social and civil unrest, the city still stands and the city is stronger and the city is more resilient and working every day to be more sustainable. And I am proud of that relationship. We are the energy capital of the world. And just the other day, just the other day, I was asked to assume the leadership of the United States climate mayors uh, representing 470 cities. And that is because, and that is because, that is because of the resources and, and everything that is offered in this region. And, and then just a few months ago, was asked to be the chairperson of the Global Resilient Network Cities. And I'm proud of those relationships. I want to thank all of you uh, for making that happen. I look forward to returning to India and building on that relationship. And County Judge, I look forward to continuing to work with you. Thank you. Namaste.